Hello everyone, welcome to new tutorial of Spark AI. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to create dissolve shader in Spark AI as in the video. You too can add different noise texture and create different dissolve shader. This video is related with my previous video about shader. If you have not watched it, please watch it. You will have clear concept on shader. I will link it here at the top. Now let's start by creating new file. Now we will be applying this shader in 3D model material. I will be using model from library. You can use any 3D model or your 3D logo. Shader 2 can be used with audio analyzer. You can use audio and music and change shader type of 3D model as in the video. I have not planned yet but if I will be making shader tutorial further then I will be creating holograph and music analyzer filter using shader. Let's scale this 3D model. Now we'll jump directly to patch editor. But before starting patches, like previous, we'll be discussing about few patches we'll be using in this area. First patch we are going to discuss is gradient patch. Gradient tool creates a gradual blend between two multiple colors. You must have seen gradient tool in Photoshop. It is similar to that and we use it here to mix two different colors. For example, let's hide it. And take material from plane. and connect it now you can see gradient blend here you too can change this option to vertical or circular and blend can be seen here next pass is gradient step it is similar to gradient but here we can gradient between previous color and new color over a specific range and we too can change them 
for example delete this connect gradient here and select output to texture now you can see here you can change color we too can add further gradient step here for example add another gradient step and by this way we can use gradient and gradient step now we'll be using math passes here last time we discussed about add and multiply we'll be using them as well in this video and other than that we'll be using step pass step pass generates a step function by comparing two values and next we are going to use step smooth it performs hermit interpolation between two values these are the basic passes you require for this setup now let's start creating passes for our project now we'll be arranging these passes let is this one connect gradient with smooth step then we'll add, add patch and we'll add input value and smooth step now connect this output with step pass now we'll be multiplying step pass in input value add multiply pass then add value pass here and change the input to color Now we'll be adding material from this robot. Create pass from this material and connect it. Now change the step value to edge value to zero point nine. and add to 0 0.89 now we'll be using animation pass for smooth movement of shader add animation pass Now create a screen tab patch add false connect to play and reverse now let's test it
we are getting simple type shader and change the duration you too can change the transparency of model by using either using a mix and changing the alpha value or direct go to material and select alpha test now simply press it and you can see you can create 3d model reveal using this transparency you too can give input as texas for example go to google and search noise texture and download anyone as a requirement then add texture now let's take this one and connect as you here now you can see Text here. or you can simply add input here For now, let's uncheck this alpha. Now, let's try giving some color to it. previous texture was overlay texture now if we use noise texture now you can give different shader effect here like burning effect or other shader for example if you want to create burning effect simply add burning texture here i have used this texture you can download it from google simply type fire texture now edit in place of this value input Let's add mix. We will add another color. Let's check it. Now you can see we are getting burning effect here. Similarly, you can use any other texture or create shader as your requirement. You too can play with the value of at the gradient or add other gradient and use it here
now we are at the end of this tutorial if you like my tutorial please like my video and subscribe my channel thank you